Aussie app to keep up with today's message and also check out our latest events. On Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, we have the Rama Word with Holy Communion at 10 a.m. On Sundays, there's main service at 9.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m., both physical and online. While Ablaze, Chance and Energize are on demand every week. There's always room for dessert. You have an A, you got your promotion, you got one sale, two sales. God says, I want to multiply that. Yay! It's Christmas time! Christmas is a wow day. Jesus' birthday is everything. God fulfilled our hope by sending us Jesus. Join us for Christmas party on Zoom. It's on 18th of December, 11am. Christmas is coming and I want you to find out what Christmas is all about. God will give a son to us. He will be responsible for leading the people. We also have the refreshing Zoom prayers on Thursdays at 9pm. Put our hands together and give him all the praise. Angels from the realms of glory, we your flight over all the earth. You who sang creation story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship. Worship Christ the newborn King Birds in the field abiding Watching all your flocks by night God with man is now residing Yonder shines the infant light Come and worship Christ the newborn King Emmanuel Emmanuel You are the God who saves us Worthy of all our praises Emmanuel Welcome home to RLC.
The new series Pastor will be sharing will be an exposition on the book of Revelation, unraveling the end times, revealing clearly the mystery of the last days, steering us from speculations, conspiracies, and paralyzing fear by knowing we are sealed in Christ, the Lamb at the center of the throne that causes us to thrive in our vision and call to witness. Starts on 12th of December. Mark your calendars. Christmas services will be held on the 23rd and 24th of December at 8.30 p.m. Ablaze Christmas Derby starts 5th of November. Race against other care groups to finish the most tasks and get the most points to win. Follow us on Instagram at freshmana underscore oasis of care to get a fresh intake of the very word that speaks life and healing to our body and soul. For weekly updates and sermon notes, you can download our app. Just search for Renewal Lutheran Church. Follow us on Instagram at Oasis of Care and Ablaze RLC. I would like to share how blessed I was today that I got to enjoy worshipping the Lord in His house together. The info provided via WhatsApp was clear and was being done exactly when I arrived this morning. The markings and directions were clear. Such a joy to be in church again. The highlight was of course the pre-packed Holy Communion elements. Nicely presented and a good idea as I could take one for my mom who could not be in church. Thank you, Pastor Joshua and Pastor Carrie, for leading a great staff team who made it such a comfort for us to be in the service. Today. We appreciate your support, it helps keep the ministry going for you and also for others. Today we're going to look at family. Why family? I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Well, in Joshua 8 verse 34, then Joshua read all the words of the teachings, the blessings, the curses, exactly as they were written in the book of the teachings. Uh, of the teachings. And who was that? All the people were gathered together, men, women, and children. Joshua read every command that Moses had given, so no one was excluded from this particular reading, including the children. It wasn't how old or how young they are, everyone was there. In Joshua uh, 24 verse 13, But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Today we're going to look at how that generation curse it's turned into generational blessings. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. We lift up everything to you. Pray that you speak through my mouth, think through my mind, the words that you have for us to learn about you, Lord, even as we look through family. And why is it so important? How is it viewed through your eyes and the blessings that you have for us, even as a family? We cast all our cares, worries, burdens, anxieties completely to your hands. We take your peace instead. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Huh? <laughs> you, you, you don't know how to calculate it. Uh. 2 minus 2 is 0. Uh. You have to use formula. Uh. Let's go. 
So what is family? Family is the place you are fed and where you are able to grow. So we know that in Exodus 10 verse 9, when Moses asked Pharaoh that he, uh, for permission to go and worship, Pharaoh said, yes, all the men can go, but leave behind the children, leave behind the kids. Now you may think, well, it makes sense, right? Why not? Uh, you know, just the adults go. After all, it's a very adult thing to go and worship the Lord. It's a very adult thing to go and read the Bible and, and, and spend time in His presence. But actually, there's no such thing. No matter how old you are, even as a youth, even as a teen, even as a preteen, as a as a young kid, there's no age limit to coming together and worshipping the Lord. And in a place of a family, we are fed and we're able to grow. It's just like sometimes our parents, they may be attending anointing prayer or refreshing Zoom prayer or intercessory prayer and we think that, well, it's a very adult thing. But actually you missed out on something so amazing there's something so powerful about being there praying together that about being there interceding together it is so precious don't miss out on the opportunity where you're in the right place in the right time you want direction in your life um you are seeking answers maybe or you are uh, wondering what to do you are able to pray in tongues you're able to intercede uh, as a family so don't drag your feet saying that ah oh, it's just prayer time again ah oh, to spend time in the family again worshipping the Lord no you go in there happily I volunteer as tribute claim that opportunity because each and every single time that you spend with the Lord is so precious it's such a privilege to be able to enter into His presence we know that last time in the Old Testament they are not able to but now in the New Testament what Christ has done for us on the cross we are able to just enter into God's presence anytime so use that opportunity uh, attend that prayer attend that intercessory prayer attend that worship uh, time with Him and you're able to see that a lot of things uh, God is pointing out to you. A lot of His wisdom, a lot of His favour is pouring out unto you. Now, how are we able to do that, do that as a family? You may think, how am I supposed to have that kind of family time uh, praying together? Well, first of all, we can start with worship, which is spontaneous and short. The next one, you can read a short passage of the word. Then you can have Holy Communion together as a family. And the last one is that Thanksgiving and prayer where each person can say a short prayer. And we always do that in our family and we see a lot of miracles that result as uh, that come as a result of that. It's not just that we get closer together or that we are bonding together um, even through this time of prayer, but also in the miracles that happen that take place because of that particular prayer session when we stand together as a family. Now what else happens as you stand together as a family? It is that impartation of biblical values where you're learning from your parents. So in Proverbs 22 verse 6, train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Now the word train is in the opening of his way mouth, give them a taste for long for. Now, what happens if the child is not trained, if it's left, if the child is just left on his own to do whatever they want, to do whatever they, they wish just because they feel like doing it? Are you done? Sound like you're still whining to me. You're gonna listen to the story, you're gonna stop whining? You're gonna stop screaming? You're gonna listen? Because everybody see you acting a fool. I'm not taking you in back into Walmart until you stop with your mess. Well, a lot of things we know can go haywire. So sometimes we might feel like, oh, so annoying, so noisy, why are they so naggy, <laughs> right? You feel like, oh, how come they keep telling me to do this, tell me to do that? And we feel like, oh, why, why can't they just leave me alone? Or how come they do not have fun? Or how come they are so old, they don't understand what fun means? And we think that way, right? But actually, we don't know that our parents were young ones. Maybe they knew how to be reckless ones. <laughs> So they knew how to be rebellious ones, they knew how to have fun ones before and now having collected all that wisdom, they're pouring out to you. Sometimes we don't understand when they say no, don't hang out with this person or be careful of that kind of friend or be careful of that kind of guy or be careful of this course because they know, they have that experience. So we are able to learn from them. And not just that, we're able to learn from them God's way and His word. You know, things like looking at how uh, God is as a great, big, generous father who's always there loving us and caring for us, taking care of us. 
that's what we're able to learn God's way not the world's way in how to deal with things but God's way in dealing it with grace maybe we can even be respectful to our parents to inform them when we're going out or even help to clear the dishes or help with the household chores why is it so important to learn from them well in Proverbs 13 verse 24 if you refuse to discipline your son it proves that you don't love him see if your parents didn't set boundaries well actually someone will so it's up to you you want your parents to to teach you in the right way or you want actually the police and and uh the laws the 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 rules to teach you the right way or the internet itself now what does this mean well if our parents teach us, teach us as they are now we know that we're able to learn from them right and what if it's from the laws what if it's from the rules of society of the community of the statutes itself 18 year old michael fay sits in a singapore prison tonight awaiting his fate six lashes with a rattan cane it all started when the young man was convicted of vandalizing expensive cars with graffiti well in 1994 there was a boy uh, american boy who was vandalizing the place uh, property in singapore and then the court gave him four strokes of the rotan. It caused a whole big hoo ha of um, a, a whole big political nightmare of um, trying to figure out uh, how to get him exempted, but they did not relent. He, the punishment was still given. And then in 2020, we also saw that this, there was this video of a Singaporean boy who, whose video of him slapping his own mother leaked into the internet. And what did the internet do? The internet tracked him down, his Instagram profiles, his address, his school, and strangers actually came to his house wanting to beat him up because they, he didn't know how to respect his own mother. So we see that there are a lot of things that we don't understand when we're younger and we maybe we want to lash out at our parents like why can't I do things my way? But actually there are some things that are teaching you. There are some things that are um they are learned they are, are passing on their wisdom to you and it's best to learn it from them. So if we don't learn from our parents, guess what? The world is a very, 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 very cruel place to learn from and at the end of the day we know that our parents actually love us after all they say if you refuse to di discipline your son it proves you don't love him that means your parents even when they are telling you things even when they are so-called being naggy actually it's because they love you they love you so much that they want to impart their wisdom to you they are trying to guide you in the right and in the best way ah time to make dinner let me cut the onion Uh, but I'm not that good at cutting onion. Mum says she'll cut the onion. Hey! Okay, now I'll get the cream. Aya, no cream. Actually, that is in the supermarket. Want him to get Yes, please! Adele, the pasta! I boil water for you, ah. you are sheltered and where you serve together. In Proverbs 14, 26, reverence for God gives a man deep strength. His children have a place of refuge and security. What do you mean by refuge and security? It's always uh, a place where you can fall back on, always a place that you can find your comfort on. When On good days, you celebrate with them. On bad days, you find your comfort in them. That is your refuge. That is your shelter. Your friends may be very, very good. Your friends may tell you that, well, they'll do anything for you. But the truth is, family is the one that sticks together with you. Not all times may be smooth times, but you know, your family is always there for you. Same way with the church family. So we look at shelter with uplifting words. In other words, in your own family, communicate to other, to each other with words seasoned with grace, with uh, uplifting, uplifting words. Especially as an older sibling, you have that position, you have that role where you're looking over your your siblings and your younger siblings are actually looking up to you but you may not realize that the words that you are using can be hurtful to them or even the jokes where you think they are very funny but actually could be very hurtful to them wow. Or sometimes you act too much like a school monitor or like trying to take the role of, of trying to enforce all kinds of rules and laws and then you wonder how 
How come they don't want to hang out anymore? How come they don't want to tell me anything anymore? 죄송합니다. 제 동생 많이 아픕니다. 여기가 여기가 많이 아픕니다. 동생. It's because you have to create that environment of uplifting words, positive and uplifting words. In Ephesians 4:29, don't use harmful words. Use only helpful words, the kind that build up. Let your words be seasoned with grace. Even when you're uh, encouraging someone, even when you're advising them, even when you're telling them, hey, actually this is not the right way to go. Maybe as your as an older sibling, you're telling that to your younger sibling. Find a way to communicate with grace. Find a way to communicate with love instead of always being always being hush 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 hush. This is bland. Why aren't we serving burgers like that? Because I thought the wagyu meat was better. You've got your priorities wrong. Because the word Wagyu sounds glamorous and expensive, it doesn't mean you say it's going to deliver you the most tastiest burger. Or maybe you may find yourself being in the mediator role between another sibling and your parents. Take that opportunity to try and reconcile the two, maybe if a relationship had really gone bad. So in the family, we do what it takes. So in shelter despite, we also shelter despite the friction. In Proverbs 27 verse 17, As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. We know that inside Noah's Ark, it wasn't easy where they're taking care of the animals. It must be so smelly, must it be like a, a routine every single day. Just like now we are all at home, but to take care of ourselves, stay safe. But at some point we feel like, oh, there's this cabin fever. I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere and, and like I have to take care of the animals, I do this, I do that. But you know that even in that state, that's where you're able to build that relationship, you're able to build that EQ. So in the 21st century, it's easy for us to find a replacement, maybe on Shopee, on Lazada, or maybe in buying our bubble tea, we know where to find the cheapest place, the best place, and it's so easy for us to find a replacement. But, and, and it's normal as well, but what happens if we take that to relationships as itself maybe the suddenly there's a disagreement out of nowhere or a disagreement in spite of a very very peaceful period and then we feel like oh the easiest thing to do is just drop that relationship or just you know just you know things cannot work out the argument cannot work out so just drop it lah just drop the relationship but that is not how relationship is supposed to be we are supposed to learn from that it's just like you may think oh my family is so annoying huh? just leave lah or this company is so annoying uh, just leave lah yeah, this, this, this course cannot so annoying I, I, every little bit thing also you say cannot 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 instead of trying to work uh, uh, towards it instead of trying to work hard towards it and then just leave or maybe there's a disagreement in church and immediately we just leave because we think hmm uh, there's a disagreement here uh, I'll just leave lah and we don't realize that actually it doesn't matter what place you go to as long as the root problem is still there it will not be solved as long as that 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 really is a character trait on your part. The root problem is still going to be there. Doesn't matter how many, how many places, how many companies, how many boyfriends, how many friends that you have, if you just keep living at the site of every single problem, then the root the root cause of it is still the same. The root problem is still going to be the same. What is the key? It is where you're planted, you flourish. In Psalms 92 verse 13, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. And in Joshua 24 verse 15, and if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So choose to be planted in a local church. Don't just like, oh suddenly this thing looks trendy, I will just go. Or suddenly this place looks trendy, I will go. Or this friend looks really cool and then suddenly you just drop everything and then you, you leave all your other friends behind and find what is, is much more trendy, much more cooler instead of what a, a relationship that can really grow and really uh, develop by itself. In Nehemiah, we see also that as he was rebuilding the wall, he also get the existing families involved to serve together as a family. Even if your parents are serving, it's okay, you can also sign up to serve. Maybe you might not want to be in the same uh, department or the same place, same ministry as them, but 
you can sign up somewhere else. That's where you're able to serve as a family in the church as well. See, the church is like a big family, serving together with our unique gifts. In Romans 12, for as we have many members in one body, but all the members don't have the same function. So we being many are one body in Christ, individually members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. So whether you are in a family or in a church, just like in a body, in an organ, each and every one of us is important. So I encourage all of you to get involved. Get involved in your local church. Get involved even in your family. You are praying together. You are standing together. You are joining in the worship together. You are serving in, in your own capacity, even with your whole family, the whole family is serving. There is so much blessing and do, there is so much uh, that is in store for you when you are serving together as a family. And let's pray. Thank God, truly we see today that even the family is so important in your sight. Each and every single person is a member of Christ, is a member of the body of Christ and we know that you have us in the palm of your hands. Uh, thank you Lord that um, truly each and every one of us are so precious in your sight. We lift up our week to you. Pray that you bless the week. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Check out our link tree for the latest events. We'd love to get connected with you. So wherever you are, if you're not in a care group, come on and join us. With care groups, you get to meet new friends, pray for each other, and learn the word of God together. There are tremendous blessings and power when we worship together. And we have received many incredible testimonies of breakthroughs in studies and in healings too. Contact us via the comment section below or Send us a message on Facebook or Instagram to get started. See you next week. Thank you.